Hello friends. So our next Java program is related to creating a class and also the uh, taking an input from user and we will try to save that in a, that class. So we will try to create a cl student class that will take the input from user and that will store the data in that student class. So we have given a question like that. We have to create a Java program that take input of student and store in the student class and we have to print that uh, print as a result so you have a, given an input as a student uh, that is detail of student that is a name ranjit surname power and uh, we have also given a roll number in integer and also the address so we have to take this uh, input and we have to create a student class that will store all these uh, results in uh, this class and it will print that student so let's start with the first one first we will try to create student class so i will create the student class to create a student class we have to give first to give uh, create the package so i have already created this package so you can also create the this package by giving the your company name that will start with a dot com or we can also give your own name that in reverse order so we have to give that so i have uh, given my company name that is com dot coder so you can also give your company name and after that we have to give the class name that is student and in that we have to give as a public because we want to use or you can use in the uh, other than uh, package so that is why i have given a public it is not an abstract class so that is why i am not clicking the abstract and after that this is the super class so we don't have to touch that so that is and we don't want the main method this student class that is why i am not clicking this student class uh, that is main class and the constructor and uh, super class i will uh, create after that so that is the thing and i will just click on finish it will create the student class in that i am going to take the first as private because i want to only uh, save this result in this class i don't want to uh, what you say not uh, take the uh, this variable outside the class so that is why I am using private and I will use the uh, data type as integer for role then private uh, then string for name private string for surname that is last name so we can also give what we say name as first name and these so like that and after that we have to just give the address and uh, that also we can use the string uh, in this question they have only uh, said that the the address is in string and if address is not in the string so we have to create uh, the separate class of address and then we have to take the input that will inherit from the address so that is the another thing so we can do in other video so here just they would just want the string as address so we will take that as address and after that we have to create the construction class that will call the this class by creating these uh, variables value so that is thing so i will call the that constructor class using fields so i will take the role first name last name and address and i will generate that so it will create this class uh, constructor class uh, constructor and it will uh, create this information that is uh, it will uh, store this information this class and also i am going to create the getter setter because in future if i want to change or get all the details of student so i have to need i need that so that is why i am taking the constructor of all the that is a getter setter so i will take that so constructor also uh, that is a getter setter also created that is a uh, get role number set role number get first name set first name and after that i will create the two string method because i also need to print the result so i will take that so role number first name last name and address so i will click that and that will override the two string method that is present in the object class so that is thing so i have created this class student and i will sh uh, save that and after that i will create a one main class 
that has a main method because we uh, need to run application also so that is why we need the main method that will run this application after that we have to uh, what you say use scanner class so i will create a scanner class scanner equal to sc equal to new scanner in that i have to pass 16 dot in it will take the input from user so that is the thing so after that i have to first uh, give the information to user that you have to enter the information so i will give first as enter the student roll number then i will take as input int uh, roll number equal to sc dot next init so this is the method that is present in the scanner class that will take the integer and that will uh, what we say store the roll number in the this class uh, this uh, variable and this method will only return the uh, what we say uh, take the input only in integer format we cannot take the other input in the in this method so it will take the integer after that we have to queue more information about like uh, enter the student first name so it will enter and if you see i have to take that in string because i have already first name taken in the string so i have to take that so first name equal to sc dot next so there are two methods that is next and next line here we are using next because we are taking only one uh, value so if we uh, there are multiple value present so it will give a error in that so that is why we have to take only first name because we are taking the first name only so that is why i am uh, using the next method only so uh, next one is enter the student last name so it will enter the student name that, uh, that is also in string equal to sc dot next Sorry. and after that i have to take address also so that also i will take enter the address of two dot that also i will take and then that, that also we need also in string so address equal to sc dot next and i will just i will increase the screen so uh, i will create the what you say student class student student equal to new student and that will take the what you say roll number as a input and like a string as a first name uh, then first name then last name and then address and it will create the without uh, what we say without this we cannot create the student access because we are not using no field student we are not create we are not created the that class constructor that is that has not I have a field so that is why we have to also without uh, taking the field we cannot create the object so that is why we have to create the object with the what you say uh, in a field so that is thing and if you see the uh, here the this is the in int and we are taking as an integer so that is the beauty of this so in this uh, java java program we can use the uh, primitive data type and that's automatically uh, convert into uh, wrapper class so that uh, directly convert this class into what you say uh, integer class so uh, we no don't have to convert that so that is the thing that uh, in java addre uh, addresses that so this is the thing and uh, after that after creating this class we have to just print the student so so we have to just print the student so i have i will run the application so first of all it is asked the student roll number so i will enter one then uh, it will ask the 
enter the student first name i will give ranjit ranjit then last name as a power and uh, address as a pune so it will print that all the information first of all student roll number then first name last name and address so you can also increase this by using the what you say collection framework so in that we can store this information in the list and we can print that also so this is the thing that the question wants just to print the uh, what you say take the input for of student and we have to store in the student class and we have to print the that reason so that is the thing so thank you